Hey guys, and welcome back. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Sorry, that's a Sherlock reference for all my Sherlock nods out there. Did you miss me? 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 Um, it's been a while. Click has some new features, so I thought uh, why not do a super quick demo. I have a dashboard here. This dashboard looks kind of different from our regular Click dashboards, right? That's because the entire dashboard actually is built instead of using the regular charts i've actually used something called um, the layout container layout container is something that is really cool that's going to help you build super unique charts like this so you can you know i have a little button here i can choose to you know kind of show and hide my filters here i have something where i can Using buttons, I can change the type of graphs that I want and then hide it again. Here I can change the entire graphs to look completely different. And like, I just feel like this looks really cool. Let me give you another example. So now you can build a dashboard which looks totally unique, right? With a different kind of color schemes. And I have, I click on this button and I have some selections that I could make. And then I say close and then I see the dashboards, clear the selections and you have a super unique kind of dashboards. Really cool stuff that you can actually do with your layout container. Let me show you one more thing that you could do that is like this, almost like a website, super unique feature. So let's go into tracks. Now I have my tracks here. Yeah, this is still click guys. Can you believe it? Let's go inside here. Let's go back to tracks. Let's select one. Pretty darn cool, right? And these are some of the things that you could do with the layout container. So let's go through the layout container and like a super, super basic overview. Create a new sheet, go back here and your layout container actually is inside your custom objects. So you go into custom objects, you have your layout container, you drop it over here. And this is basically your canvas. And this is where you're gonna add the charts, you're gonna customize it, you're gonna change the color of the entire thing, you're gonna put all your new graphs over here and any kind of charts that you actually wanna use. For example, in our case over here, we used our KPI and then I used a regular, a combo chart, which is, you know, which has a line as well as the bar graph and overlaid one on top of the other. So let's go back, go to add content, click on a bar chart. Now, if you see here, this is where I can place it anywhere I want. And if I go back here, it actually hides. You could go into appearance and here you can change the different settings, keep charts inside. Now I can't really, can't really hide them. Maybe you, you want to, so as to show like a small part of your filter on the left side or show a small part of your graph on the left side, or yeah, you know, basically however you wanna combine. Let's add your month and I'm gonna add my sales. Now, if I go into content, so this is your main layout. So here I'm, I've added one bar chart. I can add KPI and now you have it here. Individual properties for the two. So if I click on this, you see that the KPI is highlighted. If I click on this, you see that the bar chart is highlighted. Now, if I wanna hide it, I could go back here and give a show condition. If I wanna hide this one based on one of my buttons, you know, that's kinda what I did over here. When I click on one button, the bars and the charts actually change. So those kind of things can be done over here. So you go here, click on the layout and you have different show conditions for the individual shots, which is really cool, right? But you could also click on your regular layout background and then change things over there. For example, go into appearance, go into styling, go into background colors. And here I'm giving it a color here. Now over here, let me go. Let me put my sales. I put it here. Now I take this. If you see this, one is going behind the other. So that's essentially the cool part about layout container where you could like really place one on top of the other, right? So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna say this one, reorder, and I'm gonna say bring to front. And let's make it tiny. Yes, I have this here now, this is what I want, but I want to right click you can go directly instead of clicking on your content because and then going inside and edit properties you could directly click here now one super helpful advice always rename it 
like because what what's going to happen is when you're when you're building the chart since you have a lot of different charts here right like look at the number of charts here when you click on one it's difficult for you to really figure out oh okay this one is selected and then you go in and then you go inside so you could directly right click and say edit properties and that will take you inside the graph that you just selected so in this case i'm going to right click here i'm going to say edit properties go here i can change the way i want it to look i want to change my sorting all of these functions are exactly the same as your regular chart now in this case i want to move them together so i could select and then move both of them here now i have this let me change this one back right click edit properties go into appearance here vertical remove the continuous scale scroll alignment to be the end yeah perfect so now i have i have this and i also want to go right click go into styling here and inside styling i can actually change my background expression so here i say whichever color i want go to my kpi do the same here go into styling go into my color and give it a different color so now i have something like this right and this is a super basic tutorial on layout container now let me know if you want to know more especially on how to do things like this where you have special buttons and the buttons kind of show you different things but guys don't you think this is cool so it's really really cool right if you're interested in this particular template i'll have it linked below so that you can download and just you know click around and try to see how it's uh, how it's done hope you have a good one please leave a like super appreciate it see you in the next one peace